Okay, beauties, so we're going to turn these brows into these bomb, banging, cute, fleeky brows. Um, welcome back to my channel, this eyebrow tutorial. Um, we are going to start off by using a spoolie to comb the brows, brush the brows upwards. That is the first step. Then taking Cover Effects Concealer, I start off by... Um, lining up my brows that would be my first step just so I can get a good idea of what I'm going to be doing because this video is very in-depth and I'm going to show you how I groom my brows meaning pluck them um, and all of that um, so I have not went to an eyebrow lady. I don't have an eyebrow lady. I am my own brow lady. I have not got my eyebrows done like in years. I've been like just doing them myself. So hopefully after this you won't have to continue to give your money away and you can learn how to be your own brow lady like me. Um, so just like getting a good outline that helps me to work, know where to pluck when i don't uh conceal first i tend to get a little tweezer happy and i just start tweezing everything um so the concealer helps as a guide first so that's why i do concealer first and i'm just blending that concealer out as i go well, this is with a flat brush also, don't clock my wig. It was early in the morning and I hadn't did my hair yet. And I also, I'm also breaking out really bad. So, <laughs> yeah, life is over. Um, so, don't look at my bad breakouts either. Thanks. In the Cover Effects Concealer, um, I'll link the, the shade that I use. I used to use it on my face, but then I got Fenty Beauty Concealer, so now I feel like this is more of my shade of concealer, um, so I use the Cover FX. So, then I'm taking a tweezer, and I'm starting to just pluck. Since I know how and where I want my brows line, like since I have that good line of concealer, I just know to pluck everything that's outside of the line, any loose hairs that's outside of that brow line is where I'm going to be plucking. That's all I do. Um, if I see anything like that's on the concealer, any hairs on the concealer or below the concealer, I know that is where I will be plucking. So that's why I feel like doing the concealer first is a good guide because it really maps out, you know, the straight line of your brows and where you want it to go. I mean, like, the shape that you want your brows to be, you already know. So anything outside of that concealer, you just tweeze it off. Very simple. And I usually have to, like, tweeze my brows. My brows are pretty thick, and my hair grows pretty fast. So I usually have to do my brows, like, every, like, two weeks or so. Um, and I have been growing them out. That's another thing. That's why they look so bad because I've been growing them out because last time <laughs> I got a little tweezer happy. Um, so I'm using a brand new product today. I'm super excited. This is my first time using this product. This is the Benefit um, Brow Pencil, Brow Zing. Um, and I got it in the 4.5 shade and I just do hair like strokes on my brows. I don't color it in. It's best in my opinion that you do hair like strokes when you are um, doing your brows because that just makes it look more natural and more realistic. And then I'm just continuing to do that throughout my whole brow. Hair like strokes going upwards and really like flicking it out and continuing with that on the other brow it is called the goof proof brow pencil from benefit and I love it like I love that my brows have been looking so bomb lately 
and it's because of this new product. I used to use Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've been using Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade since I started doing makeup like years ago and I've never used anything else on my brows before like consistently consistently um but this brow pencil is the best i haven't used the pencil before because my brows are so thick and i like it also because you have the the it comes with the spoolie you have a spoolie on one side and then you have the actual product on another side i feel like that's so handy you don't have to have like a spoolie with you and like two brushes to do your because i used to i would use like three brushes to do my brows when i was using pomade so then I'm taking a, um, what is this, is it, is this called a razor? Yeah, right? I'm taking a razor <laughs> and I'm just, um, getting all the excess here on the top of my brows. Just really lining it up, making it look very neat, um, where they have grown out to be pretty crazy. Um, but I feel like then I'm just. I don't know why I didn't use the bottom of my spoolie. I used another spoolie, but just combing them down, brushing them out, getting that really defined shape, and then just going back in. And I feel like this brow pencil gives me such a natural brow. I've been loving the natural brow look. I, they don't have to be so perfect. I used to be really huge on brows. And they have to be so perfect. But now I just like a natural brow. They don't have to be perfect. And they come out looking so good. It's not like too harsh. I feel like when I was, maybe it was the shade that I was using. And also with the pomade, it's easy to, for them to look too dark or too heavy. But now my, my I told y'all my brow hairs, they grow pretty fast and they also grow pretty long so I take like some little scissors some mini like beauty scissors and I just um cut the brows so that way they're not so long and just like hanging all off of the brow then I'm using another new product by Urban Decay this is their brow gel I wanted to get the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel but they were sold out but so one of the girls at Sephora recommended this brow gel to me and so far I like it um, and also the spoolie is pretty small so it's really easy for you to like get in your brows um, and this is just going to help your brows stay in place the hair stay in place and then you just um, use this product to just shape them however you want they also have like colors like if you want a color I got it in clear my uh, brow gel is clear um, this is about like $21 and the brow zing was about like, I think like $26 I want to say. But this is the final look and I love, I've been so obsessed with my brows. They look better than they ever have before. I love them so much. It's so easy to use this brow pencil. You just literally, it's so convenient. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. And see you in my next one. Bye.